8 pads, 25 velocity sensitive slim keys, 16 multifunction encoders, and excellent selection of included software, which we're going to look at in a bit, plus more. Is the Arturia Mini Lab Mark II the best mini MIDI keyboard for you? Well, let's find out. I'm Zane, welcome to Audio Tech TV. I've included links down in the description to the Arturia Mini Lab Mark II in case you want the latest pricing or more information. At the time of recording, it is going for $120 over on Sweetwater and on Amazon, plus there's another color variation as well. But right now, let's open up this box and check out the build quality. So here it is. We have our USB cable there. And the first thing you notice is how solid this is built. This thing is really solid. Like that's metal on the back there. That's really nice. This is a solid plastic on the top. You got these cool faux wood panels on the side. The keys feel nice. They're not weighted or anything like that, but they do feel good. Pads feel good. And the encoders feel nice and tight. You can see on the back, we have our USB port and a sustain pedal port. If you were to purchase one of those extra. And that's about it for connectivity. You can change your octaves with these buttons here. So the build quality of this thing is really really nice if you're taking this on the go with you you're not gonna have to worry about it. so we should be able to just plug this thing in and use it right away but if we want to take more control over this like the color of the pads when they light up and that sort of thing then we should install the arturia midi control center so we can change the color of these pads when they light up and we can even have them so they're lit up all the time let's just quickly look at that right now so we can click on this pad here, say pad one, it says color red. And you can see when we press the pad, it turns red. Now, what if we want to change this to, let's say blue. Turn that one to blue. Let's say we turn this one to blue as well. Maybe we want this one to be green and the one next to it to be green. And we'll just leave it like this for now. And say we want these on all the time, so not just when we press them. So we just go up to device settings, and then we can go to pad off backlight, and we'll turn it on. Then we can go down here and save as, and we'll just call this new two. So we'll save it as new two. And then what we want to do is store these settings onto the Mini Lab Mark II. So we can just go to one of these memories say this one, say store two. And now it's loaded onto the keyboard. And you can see here, each of these pads is actually like two pads in one because you can click on this pad button here and it switches it to the second set of pads. So one is either pad one or pad nine. And each of these is like that. So if you switch this, then the pads would start from nine, 10, 11, 12. If you put it back to the regular way, the pads would be one, two, three, four, five, and you can have different colors for each one. So if you want to know which set you're on, if you're playing live maybe, and you just want to quickly look and okay, I'm on that set of pads. Maybe you change the colors for the second set. Now let's look at the bundled software that you get with this. The first instrument we're going to look at is the Analog Lab. Now with the Arturia Mini Lab Mark II, you get Analog Lab Lite and Analog Lab Intro. Now I think they're both kind of the same. I think Intro is kind of taking over the Lite version. But with the Intro and the Lite option, you get 500 classic synth sounds that are taken from Arturia's flagship V Collection, which is amongst the best sounding virtual instruments out there. So you have a lot of sounds in here right off the bat. And the mini lab is mapped to this by default. So you can control various things on the screen using your rotary knobs here. Of course, your keys will work, your pads if you need them. 
and all of that is pre-mapped for you. There's an excellent selection of instruments in here, lots of sounds to get you started. Now let's look at the DAW that's included with this. You get Ableton Live Lite, and a cool thing about Ableton Live Lite is it's basically the full version of Ableton Live, but it has an eight track limitation and you can always update it. So if they release the next version and you have a license for Ableton Live Lite, you automatically get that next version for free. So you could work with the eight tracks and it might be good for you to start with. You're going to get used to that workflow of Ableton Live. So if this is a piece of software that you've heard of and you want to get used to it, Ableton Live Lite is an excellent introduction to it. And then if you outgrow those eight tracks, you can always upgrade to the full version once you're ready. And you also get the UVI Model D. And now this gives you the sound of the Steinway Model D Grand Piano. If you're looking for an authentic grand piano sound, this one can deliver. If you want a mini MIDI keyboard that's going to last you for a long time because it's built very solid, has excellent features built in, and is just an all around great instrument to have in your studio, then the Arturia Mini Lab Mark II might be the one for you. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Ableton Live Lite and maybe want to get started using it, click the video on the screen right now. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. For Audio Tech TV, I'm Zane. Keep creating, and we'll talk soon.